I see you've made it to Tatooine. Not the most luxurious destination, but trust me, the artifact is close. You'll need to find the pirate Andronicus Revel. He should be quite familiar with this piece. Who is this Andronicus Revel, and what's his interest in Sith artifacts? He was once a pirate, and the artifact was once a prize. He stole the artifact out of some Sith ruins, but when his crew mutinied, they took it. I sent a cruiser to recover the artifact, but all they found was Andronicus in an escape pod, half mad. We let him stew for a while in Imperial prison, and then released him. He's been hunting his crew down ever since, and we've been watching. Does this Andronicus know you're using him to get the artifact? Does it matter? He gets what he wants, revenge, and you and I get what we want, the artifact. He's never lingered longer than it takes to kill, but Tatooine is different. It's been weeks. I believe Andronicos has found the leader of the mutiny, and with him, the artifact. Find Andronicos, and you'll find a clear course. Why not wait for him to make his move and capture him again? There's no guarantee he will take the artifact if he finds it, or that we will know he's made his move. Andronicos must have come through the spaceport at some point. Start with the shipmaster. Good luck, apprentice. And remember, every piece draws you closer to your full potential. Have you heard of a pirate named Andronicus Ravel? Wanta humpa, muri rava, fupa, jibampa wula. Patoga wata, kiko, uba, kiri wata, buki, donko. I don't like it when people lie to me. Kunta Chuta Kasu Yali Kuli Ra Kanki Kung Chobut E Kafstuan Dile Jihulo Kuta Just tell me where I can find him. O Grani Tampio da Pushi Wumpa Pu Tula Musta Wumpa Hupa Jikilia Umpasa do Biska Yinga Yinga Kijita Nimni Tanub Alelo Kwekuta I'm looking for a pirate named Andronicus Ravel. I won't start anything if you tell me what I want to know. Tell me where Andronicus Ravel is. This Andronicus fellow is sounding better and better. Piska ku, paria pitie, potenia go, korowe nimi naka, sonri popa unaguta. Wadji neko, higa danoila, oka kiza spida per popa. Andronicus Ravel, I believe you have the artifact I'm looking for. Web, folks aren't supposed to know I'm here. I'm sorry, Andronicus. It, it was that damn bartender. Take care of it. Now, Sith, your artifact. I don't have it, and I'm glad. Thing drove my crew insane. They mutinied. I floated ten days in a disabled escape pod and spent thirty more in Imperial lockup on account of that hunk of rock. Maybe next time, you won't be so quick to steal from Sith. Maybe you Sith ought to keep those things someplace safe. But maybe we can help each other out. The guy who has your artifact is the guy I'm on tattooing to kill. Silas Wilkes. My old first mate. He started the mutiny, then tossed me into space. Now he's an exchange big shot. He's got your Sith toy. Why haven't you killed this Wilkes yet? You don't have a reputation for mercy. I've been chasing Wilkes halfway across the galaxy. 
Stole my favorite blasters, not to mention my pride. Lucky thing I got a contact inside the exchange. Only I can't exactly just stroll into the exchange base. Oh, the big bad pirate is afraid of a few little exchange thugs. Funny, Sith. But some of us can't shoot lightning from our fingertips. Contact's name is Casey Ricks, old friend who used to be part of my crew. But she, uh, doesn't exactly know I'm here. She's sure to know where Wilkes is hiding. Tell her you know me, and she'll tell you everything. You must have quite a way with the ladies to produce that kind of reaction. Let's just say that Casey and me go way back. You get that information, you can do what you want with it. But I'd appreciate it if you came back here first. Me and Wilkes are long overdue for a talk. Casey Ricks? Andronicus sent me. He said you know where to find Silas Wilkes. Andronicus? You mean he's out of prison? He doing alright? And he's after Wilkes, figures. Andronicus doesn't really forgive or forget. Hey, you're not planning to harm him, are you? It won't be your fault if something happens to him. I guess that's the best I'm gonna get from you, huh? I'll tell you where to find that son of a hut. In fact, I'll make sure he's there so you can kill him. Wilkes's base is hidden out of Ether's view. Andronicos will know what I mean. Can't you give me something a little... clearer? I can't have everyone on Tatooine knowing where the base is. Let me call Wilkes, make sure he stays put. It'd be a shame for you to storm HQ while he's out. Don't do anything you'll regret. Like Warren Wilkes? We both know that'd be suicide. Casey, sweetheart, got something to report? Andronicus hasn't turned up, has he? Oh, sigh. What do I have to do to make you stop worrying about Andronicos? Well, I could think of a few things. Have you reconsidered my offer? That's why I called. Are you free in, say, a couple of hours? We could talk about it, in person. I always have time for you. I'll be right here, sweetheart, whenever you're ready. Ugh, I hate that guy. Andronicos never went for that eyelash batting junk, but Wilkes is there. So hurry up and kill him. You... I mean, you aren't really... No. I've been able to string him along so far without it. But I won't shed any tears when he's gone, to say the least. Tell Reg I can't have any more slip-ups. Wilkes finds out I'm here, it'll be like Rusan all over again. Yes, Andronicus. I, I, whatever you say. Go. About time, Sith. This room's feeling a lot like that escape pod. Make me happy. Tell me you found Wilkes. Casey said Wilkes was out of Ether's view. Out of Ether's view, huh? Spineless son of a hut is hiding underground. Small place to hide. I should have thought of it myself. There's a system of caves on the other side of the abandoned farm settlement. I wager that's what Casey meant. The sooner I get this done, the better. Just hold on one moment. I'm going with you. I don't need you anymore. Huh. Well, it so happens Casey's looking out for me. She encrypted the entry code to Wilkes' base on this data pad. You don't know how to decrypt it, but I do. I've chased him too far to let someone else kill him. Just don't touch my artifact. The artifact's yours. It's brought me enough bad luck already. I'm gonna blast Wilkes for every day I spent floating in that escape pod. And then I'm gonna stomp on his bones. While Papa Frogens in Alama Patai Galakai in Alama Amainai. It's nothing personal, Kem, but Andronicus is cuter. Ake us erpai was ja us. Patai kuibanist. Ni fragis fraujan. Kup painana. I'm sorry, Kem. We just weren't meant to be. Mat in subja, iman kudana, ja ayun pro kumana. Well, well. Andronicus Revel. I'm surprised they let you out of Imperial Prison. 
And you brought a Sith to help you. How cute. But see these guys? They'll crush you and your Sith. You're only making this more painful for yourself. Let me guess. You're here for the artifact. The one the Empire was so keen on getting just before I crushed Andronicus. Would you believe he called me a nobody? A worthless, mangy, skinny little nobody. So I took his ship, his crew, his cargo, his blasters, and what else? Oh, his girl. Who's nobody now, Nikki? I'm gonna rip out your throat and laugh while you try to scream. All of this chatter is making me bloodthirsty. You'll never beat me, and you'll never get your artifact. Boys, kill the Sith, but keep Andronicus alive. I want to play with him a little longer. You, you idiots! You'll never get it now! Not the artifact, not the blasters, nothing! Give me the artifact, now! You're so stupid. The great Andronicus Rebel chases me across five planets, only to fail. He even gets a Sith on his side, and they both fail. Talk sense. The artifact. It's cursed. It's cursed. Yeah, I figured that one out. They... they took it. Just like I took it from you. Took it all. The blasters, the artifact, the money. Tell us where they took it. Chase them if you like. They went out into the deep desert. They left weeks ago. The sand people will eat you before you ever catch them. I've heard enough. Now give me one good reason not to blast your teeth through the back of your skull. Do it. Maybe he'll finally shut up. I've been waiting to do this for a long time, Wilkes. Can't say it was nice knowing you either. <laughs> I have no regrets, Andronicus. Least of all this. Idiot. Lost your artifact and my special made blasters. Just wait until I get my blaster pointed at those thieves. They'll face much worse from me. You take your creepy powers and I'll take my blaster. And we'll see who kills the most. Huh. Come on, the sooner we get out there, the better chance we have of showing them thieves what's what. Damned idiotic nerf-hurting sons of huts. They got away. They were killed and possibly eaten. There's a difference. What? It doesn't bother you? These idiots run off with your artifact and you don't even get to knock them around? <laughs> I just can't figure you, Sith. That's the way I like it. Mysterious, huh? Okay, suit yourself. Now are we gonna get off this rock or what? I still have business to finish here. Well, when you do fly, mind taking me along? I'm a damn good pilot, and I've got contacts a Sith will never make on his own. It'll be your show, no questions asked. I'm in charge, and don't you dare forget it. I'll take that as a yes, then. So you beat Wilkes and made it out of the desert alive, huh? Wilkes doesn't surprise me, but when I heard you were heading for the desert, well, I wasn't expecting to see either of you again. You seriously underestimate me. Wasn't meant as an insult. There's lots of stuff in that desert that can't be fought, and it's just as deadly. Anyway, I'm glad you came, because it gives me a chance to thank you for taking out that runt, Wilkes. With some real leadership, maybe the exchange on Tatooine can move ahead for a change. And don't go expecting any more favors. I don't plan on needing any. And Andronicos? I'm sorry. It's alright, huh? We wouldn't have worked out anyway. All that shouting and throwing stuff, somebody was bound to get hurt. Yeah, right. Well, guess it's goodbye then. Good luck out there. Don't worry. I'll make you forget about her real fast. <laughs> I get the feeling we're gonna make a damn good team, you and me. Well, let's get off this rock, huh? Apprentice, you have recovered the artifact, I take it. Wonderful. Ah, Andronicos. What a pleasure to see you again. Hello yourself. Looks like you finally found your rock. Yes, thank you for leading us to it so obligingly. I'm sure you'll be a wonderful asset to my apprentice's crew. Now, apprentice, you must hurry and recover the remaining artifact.
Consider it done. I look forward to seeing you in your glory. So what's the story, Sith? Seems like you know all about me, and I don't know nothing about you. You always a sicko, or did you just kind of fall into it like I did? The Empire enslaved my family, but they decided I was special, and made me Sith. Funny how those Sith work. I was an accountant on Moneyland when I decided I wanted a little more adventure. <laughs> so I put a blaster to the head of the intergalactic banking clan and walked off with a few million credits. Been robbing and murdering ever since. I don't for one moment believe you were an accountant. Well, how's this for accounting? In three years, the Sky Princess took more cargo and harassed more Republic ships than half the Imperial fleet. I'm a liar and a thief and a murderer, but I'm good. You know, you got a pretty nice ship. It's no Sky Princess, but hey, what is? I had a ship like it once. No armor to speak of, but you don't need defense when you can maneuver like that. You didn't seem to have a ship when I met you. Yeah, got blown to pieces. But it was a thrill while it lasted. Nothing like playing chicken with a ship twice your size and then firing up his tail when he blinks. Sky Princess was great, but she couldn't do that. I think I'll do the flying from here out. Oh, what's the matter, Sith? Don't think I got the chops? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll look after her like she was my own mother. Not so much as a scratch. Hey, you got time to chat? I didn't think you were the chatting kind. Haven't been aboard too long. Like to know who I'm working with. Nothing touchy-feely, just enough to know you got my back. Good. Because if you got all sensitive on me, I might not like you as much. Last time I cried, I was six years old. The old man shot me in the foot to shut me up. Besides, I've got a reputation to protect. Oh, I know. Big, bad pirate has a nasty temper. I hear you've got a temper of your own. Let me just get one thing straight. Are you teasing me, or are you into me? I'm a pirate, you're a Sith. I'm happy as any guy to give a girl what she wants. But I'm not your slave, right? I'm free to go anytime. As long as you don't start getting needy. In that case, I'd have to send you away. Needy? You're thinking of some other guy. Talk to you later, alright? You hear that, Sith? Nothing like it in the galaxy. The hum of an idling blaster. Potential energy right there. It's like waking up on your birthday wondering what you got. For a few minutes, it's anything. A whole galaxy just waiting for you to pull the trigger. For the strong, silent type, you certainly have a way with words. Well, if you're gonna say something, make it memorable. Actually, I was wondering. These blasters are nice, but a pirate's only as good as his equipment. We don't got fancy force powers like you Sith. I think I have a spare set here, if that's what you're asking for. I'll pay it back, Sith. Don't worry. Thanks. Hey, I got a surprise for you. Won it a few years ago in a fight against an animid pirate. Called himself the Fear. Kinda crazy, but great pilot and a great fighter. Blade's just ornamental, but he sure liked to wave it around. Worth a lot of credits from what I hear. And now you're giving it to me? I'm honored. A beautiful weapon for a beautiful lady. I know you got a lightsaber, but I figured you need something to pretty up the walls around here. Now you're just flattering me. Maybe you deserve it. You know, I think I heard the ship's engine making a strange noise earlier. Mind if I check it out sometime? It doesn't matter to me either way. I'm sure it's just some debris, but we don't want this thing tanking out on us in a pinch. I'm no expert, but a buddy of mine back before the war taught me most of what I know. Carl Norn, best technician I knew. Worst card player. Could never see when the deck was stacked against him. <laughs> and it always was. Was this one of your pirate friends? My old man ran a shop on one of those planets people only visit if they break down or if they're running from something. Carl stumbled in on a tin can held together by sheer willpower. Well, and the skills of the best mechanic in the galaxy. Made me first mate after the war. On a ship called the Bloodshot Ranker. I learned a lot before he gambled the ship away. But you're sick of hearing me jabber, huh? 
Engine's fixed. Looks like we took on some rock on one of our last jumps. Nothing big. Reminds me of the time I took the Sky Princess through an asteroid field. My ship mechanics were furious. Clean rock out of our engines for weeks. Had to replace one of the rears, it was so badly damaged. You brag about it, like it wasn't colossally stupid. When you got a fleet of Republic ships on your tail, you take whatever cover you can find. Rocks don't have cannons. <laughs> Besides, what's life without a little risk, huh? That's why I became a pirate. The risk, the reward, the freedom. That's the same reason I became Sith. Though my freedom was perhaps more literal. Freedom's all in the mind. But it does help to have a good blaster. You busy? I can think of a number of things we could do. I might have had the same idea. What say we find a quiet spot on the ship? Get to know each other better. Let's find some place quiet then. And dark. I like how you think. I ever told you how beautiful you are? No, I don't think you have. Well, you're beautiful. Hey, remember I was telling you about Carl Norn, great tech, bad card player? Got me into the pirate racket? Just got a call from him. He's in deep. The hot cartel on Nar Shaddaa's got his number. He deserves what he gets, but he's done good by me. I promised I'd meet him on Nar Shaddaa and help him out. Then you'd better get going. I'll try not to be long, huh? So what happened with your friend Carl? Were you able to help him? Yeah, thanks for asking. Carl's same as ever. Never got a hand he didn't want to play. His debts weren't anything a few well-placed blaster shots couldn't settle. I wish I could have helped. You're a pal, but it would have been a waste of your time. Thanks for letting me bail him out. So, what's proper manners for asking a Sith Lord out for a drink? You don't. She invites you. Well then, you gonna ask me? I was thinking we could find a quiet room again. Hey, nothing says it won't end up there. You know a good spot? And don't say, Moss Ela. That stuff is swill. I think I know a place. <laughs> Can I ask you something? If you could live anywhere, do anything, what would you do? I have power. My own ship. I can do pretty much whatever I want. Why would I want to do anything else? Not a bad life, is it? Used to think all I wanted to do was fly and fly and fly. Didn't matter where. But I like working with you. Ship's nice. The company's not bad either. Oh, you like me. How sweet. Yeah, I guess I do. I gotta come clean with you, Sith. I wasn't always the scoundrel you met on Tatooine. I used to run in the Republic military. Made captain before I wised up and deserted. Call it misspent youth. Why are you telling me this now? Carl sent me a message. I guess bailing him out got the Republic military's attention. Seems they've added treason to the charges of desertion and piracy. Guess they're not big on former officers traveling with a Sith. Anyway, if things get hot, I might need to hop off the radar for a while. If things get hot, this ship is the safest place for you. The Republic military police are no match for me. <laughs> Thanks. Good to know you got my back. Hey, I gotta run. Another friend of yours in trouble? Don't got time for questions. Someone from my Republic days has popped up. Someone I thought was dead. If I don't jump on this tip now, he might disappear again. I'll fill you in later. All right, I said I'd give you an explanation when I got back. Here it is. 
We were chasing down a free trader on a tip in neutral space when an Imperial fleet jumped on our position. Blasted us to pieces. Guy who gave us the tip. An SIS agent. That spy to the Empire. Named Harmon Reich. So you think Harmon Reich set you up? Could have just been bad intel. Except Reich disappeared the same day. One of my old Underworld contacts traced one of his safe houses. But Reich slipped away before I could get to him. I can understand not wanting to fight somebody else's war. I skipped out myself, but Reich owes me an explanation. I'm surprised you don't just plan on slitting his throat. I do, but like I said before, I want answers first. Hey, uh, Sith, we make a pretty good team. I was thinking I might take off after I found Reich, but the old job just doesn't sound quite as appealing. You've got all the freedom you need right here. Maybe sometime I'll take you out into open space, show you the thrill of lying in wait for a big freighter and a big payoff. I may be out of the game, but my skills are sharper than ever. Hey, I got an idea. Do you ever fly to the middle of nothing, cut the engines and just drift? I don't see why not. You won't regret it, I promise. You ever find it funny how no matter where you are in the galaxy, it always looks like you're at the center of things? I am at the center of things. <laughs> That's right, Sith. I guess it's that normally I start feeling strangled right now. You know, in a relationship. Like I gotta run away. This morning I woke up and thought, I'm out of here. And then I realized I, I didn't want to go. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, it's stupid, I know. I've got him. Reich, the SIS agent who betrayed me. He's a dead man. My old girl Casey intercepted an encrypted message. He's moving on Trandosha, of all places, as we speak. I've got to fly or I'll lose him. Watch yourself. If the Republic's onto you, this could be a trap. They haven't caught me yet. This is the last bit of business tying me to my Republic days. This is the last time I'll run, I promise. Reich's dead. Was dead before I got to him. Lucky jerk. Turns out I wasn't the only enemy he made selling secrets. Imperial intelligence sniper got him. Guess he was playing both sides. It sounds like he had it coming. I only wish I could have gotten an explanation. But I guess he was just rotten all around. I'm done running off. You and Casey are the only friends I got. And, well, you're the only one with the ship. I'm not going to start giving out hugs or anything. No worries. I'll still shoot a man between the eyes if he looks at me wrong. So, are we getting married or what? You get right to the point, don't you? You've been messing around long enough. No point in being vague. Just don't turn soft on me. Deal. turning sentimental, but I, I gotta say it, you are beautiful. Just shut up and kiss me. Yes, ma'am. Hey, uh, can we talk? Look, don't tell anyone I said it, but you're all right. I wasn't sure this thing between us was gonna work out. Come on. We're two beautiful, volatile people. What's to doubt? Yeah, we haven't killed each other yet, huh? I don't know if we'll have kids or anything like that, but if we do, or you have apprentices or whatever, 
I want to be there to look after them. I'd be honored. I'm just saying, you're not getting rid of me easy. <laughs> 